Welcome to the Pantheon. I am Ray. I'm Evie. And so, Evie, what is today's topic about? It is about Agent Carter. Right. And how she gets demoted or, like, kind of talked to. You know, mm -hmm. the guy has it out for her. One of the agents has it out for mm -hmm. her. Agent Flynn. Right. Agent Flynn has mm -hmm. it out for her. Um, um, treats her bad, mm -hmm. either because he's jealous or he's a woman, you know, or she's a woman. Yeah, kind of misogynistic yeah, kind exactly. of uh, personality there, yeah. Yeah, you know, and, um, you know, but, you know, and she's still not over Steve Rogers because mm -hmm. she pulls out the picture. Well, that's right, yes, that's right. Uh, yeah. Howard yeah. Stark calls mm -hmm. and, 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 um, uh, and, um, uh, commends her. Mm -hmm. But, but I think before that, um, um, something happens um, and she uh, beats up a couple guys yes right so yeah. what yeah, so what scene were you referring to this is a scene that I actually had to go on like so I'm not sure because I thought maybe it's a person uh, it, because she works for the SSR which is stands for what does it stand for again strategic science yeah. research research yeah Okay, so basically it's kind of like it's a okay essentially it is the, the earliest earliest version of shield right before yeah. shield became shield so she is an agent of that of that particular sect of the government, and uh, because you were saying she, because of her gender, she sort of sorry, regulated to being doing clerical duty, yeah. and they won't allow, allow her to go into the field. Uh, so, so one night uh, you were saying, yes, yeah, the, the the agent agent Flynn and the men they, they go for drinks and they leave her behind to do filing, you know, and then again that disembodied voice says, oh, we spotted the zodiac, it's at this location at this coordinates, but everyone's gone. And so she decides to take it upon herself to, to go on the field and do it. And, 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 and we find out the Zodiac is actually a, a vial, this really cool blue yeah. liquid. And it's, like it's kind of like a Zodiac symbol, but I'm not mm -hmm. sure what Zodiac symbol is. Actually. It could be a mixture of things. It's a, it's a, it is an explosive device or a liquid that could cause quite damage. Mm -hmm. um, it's only shown ever again in, in, in a Winter Soldier uh, comic series, uh, Infinity series. But that's the only time it ever gets brought up to, and it's just basically um, it's a guffin that tells you it gives it uh, a cause for the, for them to go out to do yeah. something. Um, anyway, so she goes out, she she procures this uh, explosive device, secures it, and it brings it back to the end, and sorry the SSR mm -hmm. against the wishes or the uh, expectations of, of Agent Flynn. Yeah. So 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 that's what that is all about, and of course, you know, Howard Stark promotes her now question to ask you based on the series uh, because the series this gives her it ends up because you discussed this already uh, she gets promoted to the head the SSR yeah. that's the that's the finale of this that's where this whole thing leads to uh, but do you think this goes against the series because how that plays out we think about it does that undermines the or, or we say it's part of the same canon but just a dip, told at a different time in the series yeah I think it's Keeping in mind that it both says it's like 1946, like in both the series as well as the can I think that that's the only reason why I, I kind of like uh, I can I can say yes because they say it's canon, but then it's all within the same year of seasons yeah, one and two plus that. So what do you what do you, what do you, I I don't know. Like I'm just saying like what do you think it is? Well, maybe Howard Stark is forward thinking, mm -hmm. so maybe he just you know she, um, he knows. How she operates, so he's right. just, you know, maybe one of the first males to kind of, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, uh, likes her and maybe um, sees what she does, mm -hmm. you know, like she's she takes things, you know, and does something. She just doesn't sit around. Yeah, she's very assertive. She's exactly. very, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is cool, you know. So, mm -hmm. so I just think, you no, know, I think it's part of the canon, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I think I, I would agree. I, I can't disagree. I can't disagree with it. Yeah, she's such a, a leading a woman, a strong exactly. woman. So yeah, uh, I I would say this is a strong a strong recommend to watch. If you for see sure. for you to watch, this is really good. And this is the first legitimate uh, follow up after Captain America: yeah, yeah. Uh, First Avenger. Yeah. Um, so and then then of course came the series. So I recommend to watch it. It's only it's like a twelve minute video. I think yeah. it is. It's really oh, short. Yeah. Whatever, whatever whatever rating system you give it to. I don't know. I, there was action, and mm -hmm. you know, and and it shows he's kind of progressive. 
which is positive, right? Yeah, considering what the kind of character he is, he's kind of like a Clark Gable, like, like he's Tony Stark, Swab, but but, yeah. like, but the father of Tony Stark. Exactly, so you know yeah. he's a, a, um, a womanizer, but yeah, exactly. the give him, but the respect, uh, yeah, her, uh, Peggy Carter, it says a lot. Yeah, exactly. You know, to the character. So yeah, no, I thought it was a good scene. I'd give mm-hmm. it maybe a eight, maybe seven point mm-hmm. five eight. Yeah, it's a it's a solid like for me it's a solid B. It's a yeah. solid B. It's, it's worth watching. And, exactly. Yeah, and, and if they say it's canon, I will take it for what it is. Like, if, if, if anything else, it's like the source code of how to interpret the series itself. Yeah, exactly. Um, for that. Yep. Okay, so with that, that ends our review of Agent Carter One Shot. I am Ray. I'm Evie. We'll see you next week. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.